Hello there fellas, this is Mad Cow Gamer. If you wanna say how are you doing today, put it in the comments, I will gladly read those. <laughs> anyway guys, once again bring you some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Finally I can say Modern Warfare 3 without being mistaken. We're still playing with UMP and uh, you know I will tell you this guys, this is by far the best weapon to use in this game. One, close quarters weapons, really great, has pretty good firing speed, pretty good damage and overall versatile weapon. Uh, I did find that sometimes it could be outranged by assault rifles, but since a lot of maps have a lot of corners and nukes and, and crannies, you really should use this gun as often as possible. I'm already almost level 31 with it. I think there's only 30 levels, so I'm on the last level, gonna get a gold, and I'm very excited. This is one of my earlier games. Um, I'm on a different setup right now, but the concept of the setup is still the same. Uh, my primary weapon is this, my secondary is most likely gonna be a launcher of some sort later on in the game. Um, this game was a very, very fun game, uh, not only because this was kill confirmed, which is an amazing addition to the Call of Duty game types, but also because I got a really good score and I did not play with support, I played with uh, uh, with Assault class, so obviously my kill streaks, my kills would not carry over if I die. However. I did do a good job at keeping myself alive, which was proves to be harder and harder as I move along in the game. Uh, last time we kind of talked about the difference between other Call of Duties and this one, and uh, I really did not cover a lot of subjects that time. One because they didn't come to my mind, and two because a lot of things to cover. So I wanted to cover maps and spawning in this game more in detail as opposed to my last. Uh, commentary where I didn't actually say anything about that. Now, you just heard me say maps. Maps, indeed, are much more fun maps than the war in Modern Warfare 2 or even Modern Call of Duty 4. The reason why I say that is because these maps are not too big, but they're not too small. They're not too wide open and not they're not too cramped. There is places for every single weapon to be used effectively on every single map. No matter what map it is, you can use submachine gun, sniper rifle, uh, light machine gun, and of course assault rifles. Um, this design of the map is what brings this game to life for me. Now I'm not forced to use Galil and I'm not forced to use AK-74U and I'm not forced to use the goddamn M4. <laughs> now I can use all the weapons in the inventory um, given to me and yet still be an effective player and a gamer. This is my take on the maps. I will say they're extremely balanced. Uh, I like the way they design the feel of the maps as well. Uh, sure, certain maps are better than the others. For example, there's a map with a big radio dome in it. I don't really like that map. To me, it feels too small and not that good for TDM or be it ground war. However, most of the other maps are, are very good and uh, I would definitely suggest you guys to pick up any further uh, DLC that come out because I have a good feeling about this game. Uh, now that we're done talking about maps, weapons are probably another way of differentiating between Modern Warfare and other Call of Duties, uh, Black Ops in particular. Guns feel much more powerful in this game, but it's been said a few times in some other commentaries. I just wanted to point it out in mine because right now I'm using a submachine gun and I'm taking on guys with assault rifles. Some heavy assault rifles, for example G36C is a very powerful assault rifle. It has an extremely high rate of fire. It has very good accuracy and it doesn't take much to take somebody down and yet I'm still be able to outperform that person with this little PP shooter because this is a submachine gun it does have a really great rate of fire it has a really big kickback but yet I'm still able to uh, perform quite well with it without being gimped by its range and I must say that the submachine guns have much better range in this game as opposed to um, Call Black Ops in particular. The reason why I compare it to Black Ops because it was the latest Call of Duty game out. Obviously, I could compare it to Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2. However, while the comparison would be fair, it wouldn't be fair in terms of the recency. Because a lot of things taken from Black Ops were used in this game. The two games were developed side by side, yes, it's true, but uh, I see a lot of improvement from Black Ops in this game in particular, so I would definitely say that Activision or whoever developed this game really took their time and uh, tweaked this game to be more enjoyable. 
The game types, I already said, kill confirmed, is just an amazing addition, I love it. So far this is the only new addition I've played, uh, and I'm not even sure if there's any other game types out there, but um, as far as I'm concerned, kill confirmed is a very team oriented game. It's not Russian happy, just new call the place all over. No, this is a very tactical game. If you don't have really good teammates, if you're random, the possibility of you winning is not as high as you might think it would be in, uh, for example, TDM or Ground War. And reason for that because you have to collect these little tags that you pop them on the screen and they either improve your score or deny the kill to the enemy, which is an amazing uh, way to lure out campers, even though camping in this game to some degree is less than in Black Ops, however, it's still a strong factor like in any Call of Duty. Kill streaks wise this game is still amazing, uh, I'm really glad that they balance the kill streaks out. Um, while the airspace can get a bit crowded, it's not as bad as it was in Modern Warfare. To or even Black Ops, for example, yes, I couldn't activate a few helicopters a few times, but oh well. So here you go, guys. I went 23 to 5, third place with my team. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, thanks for watching and uh, come for more. Peace out.